Now, we've reacted to some wild analog horrors on this channel. The Smile Tapes, Vita Carnis, The Children Under the House, but get this, a Godzilla analog horror. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can keep laughing now, but by the time we start watching this series, you're gonna see exactly why we had to cover this. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and let me just start by saying Godzilla Analog Horror. <laughs> Was that effect good? Was it? Was that good? Now, I saw my good friend Baz actually covering this thing. By the way, go sub to him. He covers so many great analog horrors way before me. And instantly, the idea behind this was just like, what is actually going on here? How can someone make a Godzilla analog horror series? Man, does it feel good though to just hop back into the analog horror world? Like, so many great stuff is always popping up. And we got so many things in the works, like Vita Carnage Chapter 2 or Season 2 is coming out. We'll be checking all those out, but for now, we're gonna get going with this one. This is called The Man in the Suit by Unknowingly. Very excited to see this one. And if you guys want to see any more analog horrors or have any recommendations, let me know down below and I think you know exactly what to do. Before this video continues, I gotta let you guys know this video has been sponsored by Surfshark. This is actually a sponsor I'm really happy to have received because I've been a Surfshark user for multiple years by this point. So what is Surfshark? Surfshark is a VPN which allows you to virtually change the location of your phone or computer to anywhere in the world and offer a whole host of benefits. These include helping keep what you do private and more importantly, keeping you safe. One such instance is connecting to a public Wi-Fi. Connecting to these can potentially allow hackers to snoop on you, see your private information, and much, much more. Using a VPN protects you against this. Everything you do is encrypted, which pretty much blurs all the sensitive information away from prying eyes. One more benefit of a VPN is, for example, let's say your friend overseas messages you and says, hey, there's a brand new show that's just came out on Netflix, we gotta see this. You go ahead, excitedly opening up Netflix, trying to find the show, nothing. <laughs> Using a VPN, you can switch your location to match that of your buddies. And just like that, if you open up Netflix, you're gonna go ahead and see all the shows your friend was seeing, and you can finally watch that show you wanted to see. Another great thing about Surfshark is it allows you to pick up just one subscription and use it on unlimited devices. So if you and your friends and family want to use it, one single subscription is all you need. If this sounds like something of interest to you, then great, because Surfshark is offering right now some amazing deals. You can get an extra four months for the Surfshark VPN plan, an extra five months for Surfshark 1, and an extra six months for the Surfshark 1 Plus if you sign up today. Also, be sure to use the promo code on screen 8BR to get an additional six months of Surfshark for free. The link is in the description down below for more information about this. Thank you so much, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. The first episode is called The Godzilla Suit Incident Godzilla Analog Horror. Back in 1954, though, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a moment. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but when I click play on the Godzilla Suit Incident video, for some reason it skipped immediately to the Anguria Suit one, which I thought was the first one. So I'm gonna have to slot this one in here so we can react to also the Godzilla Suit Incident, which is the first and primary video in the series, bro. It sucks that I actually missed this one. I still understood the lore of what was going on here, fortunately, but this one, yeah, I gotta add this in, bro. Imagine me uploading this as the full series, and then I skip the first video. Yeah, we can see the description is not in a language I currently understand, but let's take to those comments because people always have our backs. Godzilla may be a monster, but it seems different to me. He is rather a god. Control our world according to each order, and I will be the meat of the beast. I will be the host of Godzilla. Because I want to be a god who is respected by people, I want to be the meat of this beast, and the fear of which one is wrong. I'm not a movie monster. It's Goji, the law of good and evil. I will live in this beast because he is the only one who can help us. There is no god, just me, Goji. So this is the first ever Godzilla suit incident. And this is where everything all began. We see him, bro. Is that maybe him on set? Looks like it. Like a bridge, a watery scene. The flames in the back too? All right, so it's just a set picture for now. There's our boy standing tall. We're ready to breathe some flames, destroy a couple of houses, scare a couple of cities full of people, get those things completely evacuated. You know, Godzilla stuff. But this is on a movie set. This isn't real. This is all about someone basically being in a suit who's going to be acting out everything, you know? And that's the whole basis of what we're seeing here. It was Godzilla, the man in the suit. The person in the Gogeta suit was unknown at the time. They'd, they'd build like miniature sets, I guess, to uh, make him look colossal, but deep down it's just, you know, average dude. The story the actor has with Gojira is odd. This is a photo of him in the suit. So he's playing the role, of course. You know, Gojira taking it serious, trying to get into the role of that. And here is another picture. Again, it's just, it's another set piece. And he's making sure he's into that role. He wants to make this thing look as authentic as possible. You think so, right? But that description was weird. He got the acting job of being and wearing the Gojira suit. And we heard how passionate he was about that role, right? He was really into that. Really, really... 
Wait, hold up. What the freak was that? What is that? Okay, we got some text. It flashes in. I don't know what that says, but hey, man, it's right there. If anyone wants to translate that in the comments, you feel free to go ahead and do that. And the actor fell in love with it. He loved being Gogeta or Godzilla. He would wear the suit most of the time to the point that you never saw his actual face. A Toho producer. He really got into that role then, huh? You hug him? You know, the suit felt warmth all around. Kept him feeling cozy. Even when we'd take breaks, he would just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. And that's from another actor. It was like if he was addicted to the suit. Like if it's calling his name. A Toho producer. He just wouldn't take that thing off then. It has gone to the point where he brings the suit home even though we tell him not to. But he just loved that suit. He wouldn't really speak a lot, but he would say that his name is Goji. Basically the nickname we gave to the suit, an actor on set. He was too fixated in the role then. The last time he was seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken. Uh... Several minutes later, he would start to walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled, yet he was also breathing oddly. Ah, um, man, okay. But I ain't good. I don't sound promising at all for him. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to get back in place, but he just wouldn't budge. Frozen still in time, man. Locked down like he wasn't just responding. After two odd minutes of oddly breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off his suit. That was him, the Gajira actor, the one who loved it so much. This was the photo someone took before the person on the right saw what was inside. What the freak did they see? The man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit. His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open the pocket where the actors would enter the suit. Dude, even the little zipper then. Wait, wait, even the zipper was basically like a seam on his skin? The suit was now his skin. What the? Oh, man. If I had any zippers on me, I'd glue them things shut, man. Imagine having a zipper on your skin. That'd be a sick prank. Somehow his body deformed to the point where he was filling the inside of the suit. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Uh. How? Right? That's my question. How? This is what they expected. What, the inside? Yep, there's the suit. There's Godzilla. And there's your actor inside. I mean, he's not even filling out the correct proportions of that thing, right? Bro, you gotta stand sideways, you know? Get inside the suit properly. I guess it's just an example, though. It doesn't have to be precise. And this is what they found. Probably not just a man in the suit. I mean, if his skin's morphed to it, it's got to fill the whole lot of the suit, right? Bro, what the fuck is his tail? What is that one? Wait, wait, hold up. So this dude used to love wearing the suit. Obviously, he would just be a normal guy, you know, walking around, but he was really like a part of the suit almost, or he wanted to be. And then, as time went on, he kind of got his wish, but I'm sure not in the fashion he wanted. Like, he literally became the suit, collectively. You can see, like, his body proportions morphed, and yeah, you couldn't take that thing off him because he was that. He is the costume now. He, he has to be the costume. So I guess this description portion comes from the actor kind of being obsessed with, you know, playing the Godzilla character. I don't know, it's like maybe if the suit was manipulated, Manipulating him somehow? Is there something within the suit, you know, like uh, some kind of damage, something that's making this happen where they have to wear the suit? And then it's like, you know, the person inside, they feel manipulated, but they also don't know that. They just kind of feel this like nice, you know, encompassing warmth. Like, oh, this just feels right. I don't want to part with the suit. Very interesting start to the series. I said before, I'm recording this literally like two hours before this video actually goes live. I gotta edit this thing, upload it, everything like that. Past this point here, I'm gonna skip back to past me, which first off did not react to this video, but the one after. So I may be a little bit confused. Confused, but by the end of it, I make complete sense of basically everything. And it happens really quick, actually. What I can say, though, haven't reacted to the rest of this analog horror. And now coming back and reacting to this first one is that, yo, you do not want to skip any of the future episodes coming up right now. Yeah, this series is insane. Oh, 
we got a problem. This definitely isn't something I can read. Hold up. Hey, Mino Strip. Strimmy? They got us covered here. I guess we're gonna have to read some of these to understand the real lore behind this analog horror series. So let's just make a start with this one and see what goes down. Soon, Soon an, an army will rise. An army that's I created. A military that shows what happens when there is a nuclear war. Uh, okay, wait, what? They will end up with the same creatures they created with the atomic bomb. The truth will be known to others and soon my family will be avenged. They will understand that we will not resign. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of weapons and I'm not afraid of bombs. I, Goji. I think Goji is Godzilla in Japanese. Please help me. What's wrong? Please help me. Why does my body hurt? Why can't I talk? It hurts. Please help me. Okay, is this like someone suffering or something? There is no God. Who are you and what do you want from me? I would like you to participate. Why is it so painful that I can't get out of the suit? Calm down. You are one with the suit. Why? 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 Please, please help me. Help Someone, me. please. Listen. Listen to me and only to me. You were not chosen for no reason. I heard that you lost your daughter. Did your daughter die in a bomb? Don't worry. I will heal you. I will make you whole again. I'll help you, but only if you help me. Do you want revenge on your daughter? For your son? For his wife who died without any remorse? Who are you? This is Goji. Only Goji. Okay, before even watching this then, is there actually something happening here? Is the suit communicating with the person who maybe operates it? That's like immediately what I'm getting here. Okay, this is episode number one. Oh my, whoa. Hey, this is how it was back in the day, man. Yeah, go show him Goji. Goji and who? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Find it out. Maybe business in a city. And this is how it was back in the day, man. Stop motion animation. It's charming, right? In a scream zone? Oh my, yeah. And they're definitely doing a good job destroying each other and uh, everyone else watching it. Like, <laughs> what the freak is going on? We've got Smash Bros. Royal Rumble in here. Motion picture adventure and excitement to stagger hey, the imagination. Boom. The fantastic good, fire though. monsters. Yeah. Raging out of the flaming bowels of hell. I'm Mighty feeling it. Gigantus. It's so charming, right? Uh, oh, whoa. Hold up. Yeah, you guys better go. Yo, Three this is so charming, right? Mortal Kombat. Oh, this the is so charming, bro. Ages. It's like, oh, when you watch horror movies or movies that do stuff like this nowadays, you just know it's like CGI. This just, it has that like weird authentic feel. You know, it's two dudes puppeteering these things, like making it look the way it does. And that, that for me is just so charming. It makes me like enjoy it more so. It like makes my imagination go more so than what CGI can do. Okay, so this is like an ad for, or at least it was an ad. Oh, wait, maybe it wasn't the puppeteer. Uh, the man in the Godzilla suit still came along for the next movie. If they stopped and told anyone about the suit man, T-O-H-O -O would have been sued and ridiculed for keeping such a disgusting creation. So they decided to keep him out of the public so they could bank off of the success of Gogeta. Huh? Wait, what? The suit man, the operator of the suit? I have no idea. Hang on, we're gonna need to know more now. It's VHS tape, man. That was like a minute of footage, but this is nine minutes. The man in the Godzilla suit has been examined by private doctors. The doctors say that he had consumed a drug that made his skin and flesh inflate inside of the suit in the skin. Wait, what the freak am I reading? The skin and flesh fused together, making the outside of the suit his... Wait, what did he take? What the heck? I never heard a drug that makes you do the, uh... The Willy Wonka thing, you know, when you eat the uh, the wrong thing and you inflate? What the heck's going on right there, man? His bones were rearranged inside to match the height of this what so his body contorted that doesn't sound natural what is that alice in wonderland drug where'd he go and get that thing hang on it turned out that he could see out of the eye sockets of the suit but his eyes were bloodshot so there he is that must be the actor so there were people inside those suits they kind of built like a miniature set of like a place destroyed it but as he was acting he consumed something which made his body morph and contort to match the suit what the heck? Why is that so, like, zoomed in like that? Okay, his eyes were bloodshot. I think mine would be too- I think my body would be bloodshot, collectively. Wait, I'm just thinking, like, that means his mouth fused with the Godzilla suit, you know what I'm trying- like... Is that the sounds that he can only make now? Because his jaw would have morphed with- The heck? Hang on a second. Wait, did it happen to him too? The name of the actor who plays Anguirus is unknown. Bro, I hope it infused with that one. What the heck? Hold up. People on the set noticed how he was odded out by the man in the suit. No one would have told him what happened and what he was now. So they kept this dude acting, even though he was like, just like stuck in there. The guy willingly acted, despite being changed up. The man in the Godzilla suit was very cooperative. Even after losing his vocal cords, he could make noises. It literally did. So his face moved to match. Oh my gosh, the proportions. It would have changed every part of his body to... Almost become like a mini Godzilla, you know what I'm trying to say? So, 
If they try to take the suit off, are they taking his flesh off? Man, that's a messed up concept. Guys, another, don't do drugs, man, come on. Everything was fine until the last scene where they would both fight and it would commence. Okay, we've got some grammatical stuff going on here, but we still get what's going on. So they're fighting. So what went wrong in the final scene? Did the, did the guy in the suit, the man in the suit, get too into the role? What happened here? Maybe where my brain is going, did he also become like a mini Godzilla? Really trying to destroy the uh, other actor, the unknown? Oh, so this is actually the scene. Yep, oh, he's going it. Bro is passionate. So in the script, Godzilla is the one who's gonna win the battle, right? Got a bit, yep, yeah. okay, yep. Yeah. There goes that wall. All made out of polystyrene. And then they're going in, look. People fleeing. Look at the speed on that. Breaking down the structures. Oh yeah, he's, he's into that rope. They're, oh, oh, oh my gosh, they're really throwing down. Breaking up buildings, bop. There you go, he's gone. You can see, he's like falling down. Dude, he's like, okay, we're done, you win. So if his fuse hold up, are they saying that he actually bit down on that dude's neck? The man in the Godzilla suit would chomp on the actor's head, making him bleed. This was not a part of the script. But the suit was talking to him, or was it the drug? Like, did it make him see himself as Godzilla and like the suit was talking to him to rationalize what was going on? The actor would yell for help as the teeth clamped down on him. He would stop moving. We've got Buy of 87 here right now, Godzilla edition, hang on. The man in the suit would protect the unconscious actor as he roared at anyone who- What? He literally became territorial, like, actually being Godzilla on the set. The actor would awaken, shaking violently as he breathes heavily. The crew on set helped him up, fearing the worst. They tried to take the off the suit, but it wouldn't budge. Wait, who, which, which guy? Godzilla or the other guy? A picture was taken from the man in the suit roaring and protecting the unconscious actor. I gotta see this. Very weird concept. I do want to know more about like what happens after because this is like on set, but if this is one video out of 10, a lot of context we need to see. Where's that picture, huh? Let's, let's take a look at it, huh? Let's see. Oh, oh, they left the cap on. Oh, I see. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. There's our man protecting his prey. He's definitely the predator. So were even his teeth fused with the suit? Like every single part of it just discombobulated? Yeah, I'm using that word. Yeah, I learned that in Sherlock. What are you gonna do? Okay. What? Bro got way into his role, man. I mean, definitely got the right guy for the job. You know, like they always act to subject themselves to get into the role, become Godzilla, make sure he gets that good paycheck and uh, people like his work. This is what they what, this is what they expected, what do you mean? Okay, I don't know if I've changed the music out here, guys, but if, if so, then uh, definitely not matching what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna stop. So what did they expect? Is it gonna show like the... Uh... Okay, that's the other suit, right? There's that guy in there. Yeah, buying on the neck, his head shouldn't have been there. So... Wait, okay, you can't flash an image and think I ain't gonna pause this, hold up. Oh, the bloodshot eye, maybe? Maybe that's what that one's showing. Yikes. That's what they found. Uh-oh. Do we really want to see this? Man, it's like taking such a long time to show- they didn't want to show it. Oh, you can feel immediately it's dropped. Wait, what? What is that? Wait, what? Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 you can't just- No! It just tried playing the next one in the series. Let's go- Hold on, what the freak is going on, bro? Wait, wait, so this is the actor inside of the suit. This is what he should have been doing, puppeteering this thing. But by the end of the role, his whole body morphed to become basically one with the suit. How, okay, this is so weird. What an intriguing concept for- like a horror series, and it's taking it back to the roots of like what we're used to with analog stuff. Very simple, just images, text on screen. This paints a story and a good picture in our head, and we have to let our mind fill in a lot of the blanks, which uh, is kind of good because then it personalizes what terrors we kind of invent along the way. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. This next one is actually called the Godzilla Encounter, and we've got another description that we're gonna need translating. We were supposed to make a movie about what happened, about what they did, what they did to my family, what they did to me, filthy traitors. I didn't pour my soul into this car because to be entertained. And with those who killed my family, betrayer. What the heck does that mean? Who are you talking to? What's going on? Okay, this is Godzilla Encounter. So again, this is definitely from like a movie or something like that. You can tell. Yeah, miniature pieces. Even with the man in the suit, did they shoot like a second one? 
in this franchise? I don't I don't know. If so, how are they controlling him? Because they said even though he lost his like vocal cords, he was still cooperative. The, the movie set guy still went ahead with it. Oh, they're making King Kong throw down with him now. Is that that's going to be morph too? I gotta know, man. It's like intercut now. But I am so curious. King Kong. Yep. Was it hit back in the day? Still is now. You know, when they remake those movies, people love them. But what happened? What went so bad in this one? Flames. If I were talk in the back, just a busted up tape. But I need some text on the screen. It's like, yeah, we can see what they show us in the trailer, but what about what actually happened on the set afterwards? So that's what we want to get to. There's a poster for it. King Kong vs. Godzilla all new. Yeah, that's how they would have advertised it. They want to sell this. They want people buying it up in color. Ooh, that's fancy. People will be pretty excited about that, no doubt. With the man in the suit being the only Godzilla suit at the time, they used him for the next film. I don't think that's good. Despite nearly, or I don't know if he killed someone. Like, we don't know. With King Kong being an American film, the man in the suit wasn't having it. It's here, why? I mean, there's talk about bombings, guys. I'm thinking this is following like real life stuff that went down back then. This is where I come in discussion. I will be hiding my eyes and my name for me and my family's safety. Who is this guy? This is like the, the kind of whistleblower. I was put into the job of being the cameraman. They told me what happened before and told me to stay quiet about it or I would be... Dang. This is crazy, the corruption on this film set. But the truth needs to come out somehow. And he, he knew he had to do this, bro. I wouldn't have even put my face in this film, you know? I'd have done, you know, Google AI? I'd have, I'd have done one of those, just made a different face, man. The man in the suit wasn't happy making a movie with the Americans. Yep. So it is, it's based on like, uh, you know, the bombings that went down. So that explains that Toho producers forced him to look more appealing to a younger audience. But what do they do? He wasn't happy with how it all played out. He's gonna get, he's gonna kill the American actor. They get way too into the role, right? He had a very bad dislike towards the actor in the King Kong suit. Shoichi Hiros. Or Hirose. Okay, I mean, you see him standing there, they look kind of somber, right? He either thought Sorochi Hiroshi was a traitor for betraying an American monster, or saw something in him. We knew that he wasn't a big fan of the Americans. He would roar at them, and try to attack them. We treated him like a lion at the zoo. It sounds like, yeah, it's like this, this, everything morphed within his brain. Is it still the same actor, or is the suit almost taken over by this point? We had to film one more scene. I was instructed to not stop filming. The script was for after destroying the big building, he would act to use his atomic ray breath on him. Don't tell me that that dude comes packaged with that ability. Actually, canon? Yeah. I was thinking, man, like the big showstopper scene, you know, where you take down King Kong. He's going to make it look nice and real. He's going to sell that shot, and they're definitely going to use that in the movie. So here they go. Oh, shoot. Woo! Oh, didn't get that one. Has he got Tuck out? Oh, he's using that tail, dude. He's doing those spins. He's pressing the X button. Shoulder barged him back. Boom! And he's one with that suit. He's feeling all that. Oh, yep, kicking some debris. He's catching those trees. Oh, okay, so there's the atomic ray. Flying through it. Oh, yo, I'm starting to think, is this actually like, did it happen like this? It's crazy, okay. Boom! Punching the house in frustration, both of them are. Yeah, so they're duking out, house in the middle. Yep. Trying to throw hands. They finally get to each other by the looks of things. All I'm seeing is a house fall. Oh, holy. Oh, off the top, bro. Wait, what happened? Hang on, what? What did it like morph like that? Wait, the man in the suit would push Shiochi Hiroshi off of the cliff and I had to record it. Did he not fall with him? It looked like the man in the suit also fell. Hey, I don't know anymore. Hmm. There was a struggle in the water, splashing as one of them frantically tried to get out of the other's grasp. Did he drown the actor? Like the King Kong dude? I don't know if he can now swim underwater. Has he got gills and stuff? Like, what's going on? Only one of them rose from the water. I think we know who that one is, right? Who's got the title in the movie? So he took it one step too far. This is so interesting. What a good idea for an analog horror. Using stock footage and... Really morphing the whole narrative and idea here. There he is, standing proudly above the water. That dude was told to just film. Did the wait, did the film directors know he was gonna kill him? I was sick to my stomach. Not wanting to know what he had done to Sirochi Hiroshi. I got my other camera and ran. It's like the directors were like, keep it rolling. I tried to leave the long corridors of the Toho studio, wanted to take a quick breath of fresh air, but I heard screams from the room I had left. What happened? The power went out. 
Did he kill the people on set too? I used the flash of my camera trying to look around, frantically trying to find an exit. I heard someone's footsteps walking towards me. I thought it was an employee. I didn't read the result up. I took a photo, wanting to find an exit quick. Wait, who was it? Bro, this is like sending shivers down my body. It wasn't an employee. It was the man in the suit. Did he get out still? This is nerve wracking. What the heck? What a weird idea. I'm fully in on this. I'm immersed. Nope. That is jacked up. Oh, ugh. Dude, what the heck, man? I got tears in the corners of my eyes just thinking about how disturbing that is. Bro, I'm. I'm crying again, guys. I'm crying for YouTube. So this is where the series starts to amp up and you can really feel that this act of the man in the suit, you know, it goes from uh, an incident that went down. Now we're truly seeing what it turned him into and what did it turn him into? Like literally a being, a monster. But they kept him on the set even regardless. Okay, this next video is called Depiction of Growth and this is what the description says. I am not I am a, monster. a monster. I will, I will help, help you all. all. I, will I will kill, kill those, those who have wronged, wronged me. me. Those, those who murdered my family and those who supported them. them. You, 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 you killed my family, my family you monsters. monsters. Here we go with the next one. So he really got into the role. I was startled by the first encounter of the man in the suit. It made me more curious than ever. It might harm me for doing this, but I need the answers. So, I've gone to one of my friends, who was smart with his stuff. I won't name her, so I'll call her Eliza. I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she would hold up I didn't read that, but she would still call me because of how curious she was. She never seen anything like this. Is this from the same guy before? All of these tapes must be being rolled out by that guy. I recorded the section of the core. This is him discussing it with Eliza. The thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. Let's go. This is something else. Thought so. Oh, God. This is the work of radiation. Radiation? Holy. Holy <laughs> The man in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. His body explodes in the suit, then it reshapes oh itself in the suit. Ugh. How do I what? explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut. Oh, mm. Without the cream. It's mm. mostly a flat donut. You're making me get hungry now, hang on. That was the suit before, but because of the filling. The man, it basically filled up all the space. But him and a cream filled. So you're trying to tell me that the man creamed in the suit then? Like, hang on, hang on, hang on. All the space. Um, maybe I'm misunderstanding. But him hang on. and a cream filled donut are different. The oh, so he did. Are separate entities. There is this a This is an interesting the analogy, donut. guys. The man in the suit, however, okay. his skin, his flesh, his bones. It's fusing with the suit. Still, it's like gradually? The suits. Whatever he took. Oh my goodness. It's mutating him. It's making him more like a creature than a human. Well, it's already done, Soon, I think. He will have animalistic properties. Does he know already? Like using its teeth more effectively. And would be able to control his tail. You Gosh. said his eyes could move. And that they are bloodshot. What does that mean? But like in this photo, his eyes flashed back. What does that Human mean? eyes don't do that. Oh. Need to try and put him down. If not, it is probably too late for mankind. Do we not just take him out though? Like, we gotta contain this dude. She said something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. I think we're already there though. So this is a gradual progression of what's happening to this guy. And it is happening to this guy. I questioned what he would look like when he was fully mutated. She corrected me. There is no stopping point for the mutation. She then told me to go to the AM artist and gave me a description that I sadly forgot now. Oh, bro, come on. You forgot this for us, though? He tried. He did not succeed. I told them to make the art, and they complied. My Japanese would be a bit rusty because I thought I asked for one drawing, but I got three. They're trying to see why he looks like mutated in the suit. Here are these drawings. Oh, gosh. Always at the end as well. You know we're not going to like to see this. So he's going to grow in the suit as well? Actually become a real Godzilla. There's another one. Different artist depictions. That's what we're getting at. Dang. Another one. Speaking in Japanese. I don't know what he's saying, bro. 
Some kind of speak. I don't know what that translates to, bro. I have no idea. So this guy is basically going to turn eventually into Godzilla, like IRL Godzilla for real. And with the anger towards like, you know, what went down, the bombings and like, you know, the past in Japan and stuff, he's gonna use that and fuel his rage. So he would probably become unstoppable and uh, would unleash eventually basically something similar to what we see in the Godzilla movies. He would try and commit these stuff. Radiation, making him fuse. It's almost like metamorphosis. What creeps me out as well, bro, it's like, you know when like, I don't know, let's say like a moth or like a beetle, like a caterpillar cocoons, then it becomes like a beautiful butterfly. How does that happen, dude? You know, it's so weird to search up the concept. They basically, they turn their whole body into sludge, completely break down everything inside that, and then it fuses back together in this new way. Even like becoming that weird fleshy liquid within the cocoon if you break open. The brain retains memories in that sludge when it reforms. How does that happen, bro? Sometimes nature is so scary and I don't get how those type of things can really function, bro. It's so weird. Next up we have, uh, yeah, well this. Hold on, what's this? Suit trial. This one's had a translation. It says, sorry if it's inaccurate. We are fully aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to test what threw me to here so they can train him. We will try to do some audio tests. Let's start with the man in the suit. We'll have him in a cell. Make sure he is there until you can train him. He destroyed the light and the, only the darkness, but that's okay. We have a light. So this says, sorry if it's inaccurate, it's like a bad translation from like the Japanese files perhaps. Okay, suit trials they call this one then. So let's get it, right? I snuck around the Toho building a day after the encounter with the man in the suit. I found a tape labeled, that must be in suit trials that we already saw in the title. Let me see. Uh, no, it's different. I have no idea what that is. I realized this was some years after the Angurious incident. So they've had him contained for years, the Godzilla. Let me just show it. Is that is some kind of is that an alarm system? I don't know what that translates to, guys. We are fully aware of the situation we've seen. We will do our best to test what. Oh my gosh, bro, I can't read that. Some okay, we will try and do audio tests. It's saying okay, good luck with that. So that's basically they're gonna test the suit, they're aware of the situation. Let's start with the man in the suit. Uh, oh, bro, this is so hard to read. I'm trying. Oh, wait, this is what we read in the description about destroying the lights and only the darkness, but that's okay. Right. So we heard this before, yeah. So this is what they were saying before, just so uh, we can read this context. All right, let's see these tests then. Do I, wait, do I want to see them? Am I being weird? Should I really want to see this guy tested on? That's kind of weird, though. So these are audio tests, I think it said first. Only in the darkness, because he destroyed the light. Is that video or picture? What is that, like his tail? Are oh, you gonna have to zoom out, Chief? I can't see enough right there. He running audio stuff. What's he supposed to do? How would you know, like... Dude, if someone played that to me, the only response you'd get is anger. I'd be like, turn that thing off, come on! I'm trying to think here. I don't know what they're saying, dude. They're talking between these tests, maybe... Audio 2, I think they said. Alright, they play it. Doesn't give a crap, man. Doesn't want to be, where, what, what are we looking at here? Is that like tail or is that the eyeball? You know, I don't know what I'm seeing here. Okay. Audio 3? It's like sister, is it, what was the, was it ultimate, no, what was the, there was a game, it was a, a pizzeria simulator, that's it. We had to bring the animatronics in. It's kind of like that. Audio test to uh, see if they get a response. What's that saying? It's talking in English, I think. I have no, is it, cap we got no captions. What? What the heck is happening? Seriously, what the heck is going on here, boy? What the hell, boy? I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm really trying to listen. I gotta check those comments after. I think that's an eye. Still with the talking. The destroyer of worlds, I got that. They're trying to feed his ego? Oh my... It's like bone curdling screams. What the heck is that? 
I didn't get anything from that. They would. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, maybe this is serious though. Why are they repeating that? What does it mean? I don't know what's going on, guys. No wonder this dude got angry in the suit. What are you doing? Antagonizing him? Playing that when he's trying to sleep? Do that to me, man. I'd start throwing hands. Oh, now you're just gonna see Godzilla. He, you know, he's doing uh, he's doing ballerina prances right now, which is sick, by the way. He's spinning on that tail. Wait, there's something there. What is that? Bring it into focus so we can see it, please. I would like to see what that is. Is that his... That's his face. So this song awoken him. Look, he's coming into view. Why was it that sound? So this triggered a reaction from here. Or the suit. Or both. I don't like the stare down. I'd rather one of us do something, like me run out. Okay, I'm, I think we left. I hope we did. You want to explain what just happened? I, you want one from- I don't even know what the heck that was! Guys, we're just gonna move on to the next one. This is called Mailed Message. The description simply says, You took everything from me. I was mailed this tape. I don't think someone in the Toho studio made this. First off, I think I, I think my butthole might be Godzilla. I make that sound at like 7.30 in the morning, like... Hey, what is this, man? You don't understand. You killed my family. So he was- a, this person was a direct victim of the, uh, stuff the Americans did. The Americans cheered when we lost. We lost our homes. And you lost your families too. Yep. Brutal, man. So horrible. You- yep. This, so this is really based on the real life event of, uh, and who took my wife. I imagine Hiroshima. He took my kids. This is from the man in the suit, Hiroshima. Yep, it's all linking up, man. It's kind of real. I left for a business trip. Was it to do the show? He took everything from me. I think it is, ma'am. So I decided to return peace. By getting rid of the people who wronged this. Did they find the suit also in the same ground? Is that what happened? Which is why it had radiation within it and stuff like that. The suit had the radiation. Oh, I'm starting to think now that's where it was found. On site. The suit survived and they reused it, but it was it was just coated in radiation. And there he is. I would say standing proud, but I think I'll be lying to be honest. Oh my gosh. How many teeth you got in that? So many teeth started looking like hairs though. Okay, we're gonna move through anyway to the next one called Dorsal Extraction. We've got a small description here. I am beautiful in the dark, which is what we tend to see or hear about this Godzilla person liking, like always in the dark. I recently got two sets of mail. They were shabby, but they came from Toho. From the studio where it's all filmed though? They didn't look professional. Probably had to rush it to get out without being caught. They look sloppy. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take any information right now. When was how nobody at Toho mailed me the weird package, even though the mailing address was from there? Wait, what? So how did that even make sense, though? The second was that I was fired. They must have thought I was telling people this. And they were correct. Uh-oh, well, that speaks bad about your future, man. Are they going to come and try and seize him? So the studio was still trying to keep everything under wraps. Thankfully, I had befriended someone to be a spy and get me photos and tapes of what was happening. Great, that sounds horrific. I don't know if that's good. Maybe this for your evidence file. He came here earlier with a tape called Dorsal Extraction. I don't know if I want to know what that is, bro, but I guess we're going to have to see Extraction. They're trying to remove something. This is a tape? Crackly? I mean, I'm gonna give you that, but... Better translate that for me, sir. I got a small brain, here we go. We will try and get him out of this- So they tried to actually remove him. This ain't gonna work, man. We are unsure if this is gonna work. You're basically gonna remove his skin. You've left it too long with them fused inside the suit. You can't remove them now. Too late, man. Way too late. Is that them in the suit? 
barely tell what I'm looking at. This the tapes are so bad quality, it's so deteriorated. Like, what am I seeing here? A full body shot? Is that just the back? Oh, it's the back and tail of him. And there's someone in like a sort of backroom style suit. You should be wearing knight, knight armor, dude. Like, did they chain him down? Okay, they're, they're getting the woodwork done. Getting the wood, starting with the spikes right on his spine. Get some of those off. Yep. How's it going for you, huh? That suit sounds strong. He was very corporate. Oh, okay, interesting. So he wanted out of the suit. That desperate. We thought it would hurt him, but it didn't. Wait, what? Going in with a sword? Blade? How is that not hurting him? You'd think that would be, uh, like excruciating on a pain threshold scale. I hear the whirl of the, uh, the thing going down. The results are fantastic. Sure about that? Did they get him out of the suit or not? Because I question, what does his form inside look like? Does he literally look like Godzilla? Has he morphed? Remove the suit. The freak is- bro, what the heck is going on? What is that? Don't sound great. I'm surprised that isn't the end, because the spy told me that after two minutes of this being filmed, the man in the suit would attack a man with a camera. He told me the flash from the camera hurt his eyes. Oh, okay. So still very aggressive. Cooperative got the suit off of him, but... That suit and the radiation has already taken control. The person took for- Oh, shoot. So even though he was saying it was hurting, they were still like, Oh, well, I want these from my, my little camera log. And they're gonna show us these photos that he was taking at whilst he was fleeing. Okay, there's his toe beans. Is that out of the suit? Wait, so he's lit- it looks the same thing. Don't know what the heck that is. That could be a wall and I'd be like, yep, yeah, Godzilla. Because it's so blurred if someone told me that's what Godzilla was. Got to see those clearer shots, man. I'm sure he got some, right? What the heck am I seeing? He was just snapping like crazy. Didn't even know what he was capturing. Just anything is evidence by this point. That was the plan. Get it all. Oh, and that's the face. That's out of the suit, though? That's when he's not wearing... I, I need to, like... Just make sure I'm thinking straight, because literally he is the same then. Even out of the suit, he's absolutely the same now. It's It's been too long. The radiation has done this, and he's morphed completely now forever. This next one that we're going to watch is called The Angurious Suit 1956. So we are bouncing between different timelines here, but this is in the order they were released. So I assume this is all relevant. The description says, why can't they listen? They just want to be human again. After digging for it, they had finally found it. And this must again be coming from the uh, whistleblower. He finally got the tape I wanted. So the spy that was in the uh, the place when searching, I want to know what happened to the man in the Anguria suit. So this was the first victim that kind of morphed and we show it was shown. So this is way back one of the first tapes that we saw. It's gonna give context for this now, which will be beneficial. We have tried our best to comply with the other person mutated in the suit. Yeah, so it happened to more than one of them. But he was called unknown. They didn't really identify him. But his persistence hurts our finances. What does that mean? People want to see him, but he doesn't want to be seen. Oh, okay, so he's still alive, the guy in the uh, the other suit. But he doesn't want to be seen in the new form that he's uh, kind of stuck in. I was confused at first. This was all? Then he started to explain. He explained that the next movie was supposed to be the man in the Angurious suit versus the man in the suit. They have tried their best ones to comply with Angurus, like if they were training a dog to do tricks. Oh my gosh. He snapped a photo of them trying to comply with the Angurus, but he wasn't having it, I guess. Oh shoot, yep, you can see him right there. Dude, if that thing is morphed like that and those teeth become real, no, there ain't no chance, man. It's like a snap and turtle times one billion. They said they were going to use force in him using tech, so they were, oh man, this is what the studio was like then. Had they wanted their movie done, Kind of use it like an animal, like a prop. Just to dispose of. But he warned me that there was a movie in the works. What the Angurius? The other guy in the suit? Something about Gujira battling a... Battling a what? Giant moth? Is there a giant moth suit? You, you gotta be kidding me, dude. And then someone's gonna morph into that and they can just fly around? Like real life Batman, but instead it's- Good evening. 
There's, there's your Batman, apparently, from prehistoric ages. So did that happen or not? It's like, did they know about this happening and then start using the suits, putting the actors inside willingly so that they would morph into these things and get the most realistic shots ever? There's definitely a difference in the way that both people are interacting within these suits. It's like the one who was in the, uh, the Angurious suit, he's not happy about that. He's like ashamed and uh, yeah, he's kind of given up, but the film guys want to force him to still act. But the other guy, he's kind of using it now as like a, a means to anger and he's kind of embracing that form and starting to think like, you know, I'm going to take down the people who did the bad things to me. He's really like in the zone with what's happened to him. He's not like not complying. He's just going ahead with it, but also keeping that anger in the back of his mind. The next tape is called The Rare Newspaper 1964 with the description, this place, the outside air, the car, the windows, the house. Did they just move on? Will we forget? I have tried to get off of this situation and just leave Japan, but if I tried to, I'd probably be arrested. This must be coming from like the whistleblower, I'd assume. Like maybe he's saying that. I went too far into this rabbit hole. Too far to the point I can't get out. And he's released so much evidence to the people, like, trying to expose what was happening here. By the way, this is completely fictional, guys. You gotta know that, right? This is not real. It just keeps getting worse. Somewhere in the making of the new movie, the man in the suit somehow escaped, so he's in civilization now. That immediately explains the description, right? The cards, the windows, did they all forget? How do I know this? They, they released that movie, man. They're pushing back deadlines. Maybe there was like, an actual sighting in public. It was on the news. What was the scale? Oh, bro, look out. Whoa, whoa, hey, hold up, hold up. He's like 30 foot tall now. And they're keeping this going? Wait, okay, this is, this is where you got a question like, why wouldn't they put the brakes on this? All things considered. Title, monstrous movie, monster sighting, like real life. They're seeing like, this isn't just in the movies now. This junk is real. Sighting some witnesses have seen a creature that resembles a lanky and tall Godzilla. One late night, a couple started to travel home as a husband took some photos. The husband was a photographer and thought taking a picture of the road would be an inspiration to his next photo piece. So he didn't even see this thing walking, he didn't hear it? A 30 foot being like colossal destroying the floor is just walking? Ah, oh, don't worry, wife, those vibrations, it's just tectonic plates moving. There ain't no Godzilla, nothing to worry about. I mean, to be honest, that is like a much more feasible reaction to it. One of the photos captured this. Do I really want to see, though? Oh, yeah, look, walking down the highway, cars behind him? They're just chilling, they don't care? They don't, they just let him exist, and he's just like, Yep, how's it going, guys? Yeah, God's here, nothing to see. Around later that night, a boy would see a silhouette of this mysterious beast. Thinking it was Godzilla, he stormed outside with the camera, trying to take a photo of it. How far did it go? How, how are you going to try and bring that thing back? Like, how would you control something like that and bring it back? This is why, like, they shouldn't have messed with forces, though. They knew something bad was happening from the get-go, and instead of trying to stop it and help, they just allowed it to keep going down, and now this is where we're at. Like, we're at the point of no return. These are the photos the boy took. Yep, they, they messed up. It's too late. It's too far gone. Just thinking about the movie, like, oh, yeah, we have the ultimate real being. Instead of thinking about how they're going to help this man, they were just like, oh, let's just contain it so we can use it for the next shoot. Even when he's killing people, they were like, yeah, we'll just we'll keep him alive. Okay, so he's maybe about seven, eight foot by this point. You can see the car there. So it's not like a, a huge colossal being at this point. I don't know if he's going to grow to be that if they uh, don't capture him. We have tried to interview the kid, asking him what he had seen and to draw a picture of the creature. I've seen the film with my dad. I know what Godzilla would look like, said the kid. They're fans, man. So when they saw this in real life, no wonder the kid's eyes glistened and he just ran out with the camera and knew and like, oh, I would saw it on the, on the TV. Now I'm seeing it in real life. See, dad, I knew it was real. You tell me this ain't real. Shows you, man. Two photos real too. The thing I saw outside on the street wasn't Godzilla. So the kid thinks that too, because maybe it's uh, only a little taller than like a man. The beast skin looked fake yet real. Very uncanny. Even the child saying stuff like that. All right, dude, you go on and say, you start doing set design then. Let's see how good you do, huh? You're gonna make it look real, huh? I don't think it was a creature. It might be some man in a suit. Oh, dude, they just used his alias without even knowing. The man in the suit. And that's all they thought. So did they get him back? Get him back in the studio or was he just roaming for a long time? I don't know how I can explain his face. It somehow kept changing. I think it's because of the lack of sleep. Bro, you think Godzilla got lack of sleep problems? Hang on. But I do remember one of his faces. He quickly drew a drawing of it. Wait, so God, Godzilla's face can morph? Like it can change up like that? Hold up, okay. Great, there's one of the faces apparently. I don't know what it means by that. It can change his face. Toho got wind of this fast, explaining this was a promotion for then 
Yeah, of course they're gonna do that. People are gonna believe it, you know? Wow, Godzilla roam in the streets. This is crazy. Want to help your, uh, your number, Sal? You probably managed to contain him and sweep it under the rug, right? Somehow they were able to stop any more copies of this story from... All right, how? How much money did they uh, they give over? They just, they turned literally the Godzilla, the, the man in the suit, into a cash cow. Keep generating them income. And that was what their, the main priorities became of all of this that was happening. The instance and whatnot. I have too many questions. What was he even doing outside? How did he even escape and were Toho able to catch him? I mean, yeah, they just said it was for a promotion. They didn't really clarify if they actually got their hands on him. So he could still be out there. If so, that's, uh, that ain't good for anyone. So they're gonna have to get him quick time before he, uh, ends up wreaking havoc the way he wants to. The moth? Wait, what the heck? We're seeing this moth again. The moth suit. And I think maybe this one's it. The Majora suit instant. This might be when they use this suit also with the radiation. Okay, the description for this simply reads reborn. So I think we know what's gonna happen with this suit. Someone's gonna use it and the suit is gonna basically become them. Let's get to it. I think we know what the end result is going to be. But did the actor? I mean, maybe they did, or maybe the studio did, but they they kept it quiet. There he is, and there's the moth. So they actually got someone flying around in there, like, or once was a person like morphed with the suit, man. Every part of their body, like the arms, probably became the wings and stuff. No idea what's happening here. It's just a, probably a collage of I would guess scenes from the newest movie, though. The uh, you know Godzilla and the Majora. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The spy I had befriended had told me what had happened during the time the man in the suit had escaped. Yeah, we need clarification. There were so many questions in the last one. We don't know, did they catch him? He told me that something went wrong. Oh yeah, you think? Oh wow, well I didn't see that coming. He said this has happened because of what conditions the man in the suit was in. I mean, dude was literally morphed, like he had changed up. Even though he embraced his role. He was lathered with some, what does that say, paste? Pasty that made him look different and a bit shiny. But I hurt him though, so they were changing him, like how his form was changing. He had to wear a glossy type of contact so that he could hide his bloodshot eyes. They were dressing him up, making it- I guess he was changing too much into a beast. They wanted to like downgrade him. He was forced to withstand high wind. So they were, again, they were treating him like this kind of toy, a puppet for their, uh, for their shows, for the money. Drag throwing him around. So yeah, bad work conditions. Treating him like an animal, because as far as they're concerned, that's what he's now become. Yeah, he was treated like a circus animal, literally saying what I was, uh, what I was thinking. Just to get those shots, make him look nice and real. And they can throw him around now. It's, there's no risk of the suit destroying him. He's fused with the suit, he is one with it. During production, instead of the man in the suit fighting another man in the monster suit, it would be replaced by a puppet. Wait, wait, so the Godzilla guy would be replaced by a puppet? or he would be fighting a puppet. So what's with the suit instant? The man in the suit saw Majura, the puppet moth, as a living being. He thought someone was inside the puppet because of how lifelike it acted. Okay, so they had this thing rigged up well. It was like marionette control locked down. Toho thought this was a very smart tactic until they realized that they had a problem. Someone needed to be in one of the... Wait, what? What the freak, bro? And it's gonna literally mutate? Don't tell me it's gonna change from a... One female actor thought it was a good idea because of how much security they had. So it agreed to be in one of the shots being inside the lava suit. So I'm guessing she was like wriggling around. Oh man, did she quickly expand to fill the suit? Oh my gosh, this is traumatic if so. It was originally her first day on the job and invited her parents to see her act. Her parents didn't care about what character she was in in the movie. They were just happy that she was even included in production. It would be, it would be a proud moment. So even though Toho knew this risk, they Still went ahead with it, knowing that the family was even on site to watch what might happen, happen, and it did. Sadly, the amount of security isn't going to help her out of the trap she put herself in. In one of the scenes they were filming, the man in the suit snapped. Going after the Majora puppet, biting into it. After realizing that the moth was a puppet, he would go ballistic and charged after the woman in the- Seriously? Even though it's just like, literally a larvae? Like, I guess they had to wriggle, right? Is that her inside the suit? Oh, there she is. Very crudely drawn. But I'm guessing by the end of it, that wasn't the space she was taking up, right? Maybe it was. Maybe the suit wasn't radiation filled or had been in contact. The man in the suit charges forward against the other suit. The lava suit had plenty of headroom for her to duck down. 
but that won't stop the man from charging deeper. He wants to break it into a million pieces, right? There he goes. Maybe it's only a good job we see this in the fashion we do. While her head gets bit, her parents see everything. Were they not suspect of this dude literally looking too realistic and acting too realistic? There's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lave suit daughter actor. They're gonna get, dude, they're gonna get taken out too. They tried to intervene. I already know one's gonna go down. Godzilla's gonna see them. So is he got, wait, if so, that means he's just completely lost control. Like what he was trying to do was, it wasn't the, It wasn't even the same anymore, right? They were both more to death, yeah, by the man in the suit. Yeah, they went in. Well, he went in on them. I kind of suspected that was going to happen. That was going to be one of the end results. And yeah, there you go. After mauling them, the man in the suit would immediately try and protect the lava suit. But the production crew were ready this time. Yeah, but it's too late. Three casualties have already commenced. Why are they keeping this dude on set? What the heck are they doing, though? With tasers, they stun him away from the lava suit. In some fit of rage, he barges through security and escapes. So this is when he was out on the streets. I guess that's what it's going to be. And it's like, when the kid said he didn't look it looked real, but fake and uncanny, I guess because he was coated in the glossy stuff and had the fake eye things. There was a team that was quickly dispatched to catch the man in the suit. Four men were tasked to stay with the lava suit, wanting to try and get her out of the suit. But it was too- What, are you going to get out a carcass, though? The spy was in the team to get the man in the suit. Oh, dang. So straight from the inside really going to uh, potentially reel some pretty nasty things. It took an hour. That was pretty snappy then. Only one hour? Dude escaped and they were on it though. Helicopters from the sky probably. That's their multi-billion dollar movie prop. They saw him looking around the forest as if he was just wandering around and looking at nature. Probably was. There was still a person in that suit. As if he was calm. It's like not realizing when he does something wrong. The calmness broke as it saw the people trying to capture it. So what he just, after all that like being on set, he just wanted to be free. Free from the uh, confinements of being on set all day. He just wanted to be back into real life again. The man in the suit was surrounded. They weren't letting him get away, man. Then it would start to shake. Vi the man in the suit would start to shake violently? Is that what he's saying? He twitched as a sudden sound, as if he was vibrating. Wait, what? Why, though? When he was surrounded, was it the fear of anger? Something in his blood? Wait, did it, like, break him up? Wait, what happened? Hold up. It vomited a red boiling liquid, presumably. The heck? Throwing up from the inside out? Getting rid of some. His body liquid? What the freak? Okay. Boiling liquid. The pain. If it's boiling, can you imagine that scorching your vocal cords as it comes up? Your mouth as well, but you can't do anything. You have to get it out. It's like he's going to start breathing fire, shooting the laser soon. It's like developing now. It was probably a last resort the creature had, but somehow they had a hold of the beast and took it back. So even despite that, they, they captured him. I mean, what was it? Do? How, what would that do? Just throwing out maybe a round, trying to fire at the people or something. The spy took a picture of what was left. The man in the suit or like, oh, it burned down the forest nearly. Look at that, burnt like a crater into the ground. They left quickly to go put the man in the suit into a secure place. Knowing that he can do that though, like vomit, boiling liquid, he can just burn through anything they try and contain him in. You can't keep him contained if he's already able to do that. Like, you got to think like that now. They feared the worst coming back. Wait, what do you mean by that though? Like bringing him back in, they feared the worst. Or I guess talking about like the, the woman. Like they feared the worst for her. This is what they expected. Okay, you're gonna have to show me right now, man. This series does, it's a very, uh, it's a bit confusing sometimes, the way it's worded. So they expected by that point, the entire process to have taken over her, and, uh, yeah, she became one with the suit, man. But what happened? Was that what they found? Or did she, did she hatch into the moth by that point? If so, that's crazy. Like, she became the larvae inside and then transformed. I, I got a bad feeling that's what, exactly what we're gonna see. is that? Okay. What is that? I thought we'd be seeing... Is that the moth and the wings? I don't know. It definitely sounds creature like you can hear it all. Bro, what the freak was that? So, the series cuts off there. This is not complete by any means, but it's just kind of opening the world to more and more things as time's going on. That was uh, a very, very weird one, and it's showing, like, what Toho are doing, I guess, understandingly. Like, they kind of know what's going down. So, did the studio knowingly sort of, like, 
allow that to happen to the the woman like long before she even said that she wanted to hop in they just wanted to get like a, a, the actual moth in the film so that it could look as realistic as possible and then are they maybe in the next one gonna make the godzilla and the moth actually duke it out so they're becoming instead of like fake fictional things which i was saying was charming at the start they're trying to make it as realistic as possible and actually make and breed these monsters i think the studio is uh, forgetting some very important things such as the fact that this godzilla is developing and it's actually learning some of the uh you know features used in a movie like that the uh, the crazy like ray breath thing which would could destroy things vomiting up boiling hot liquid or some kind of thing there's some kind of weapon being developed there so like if it's going to use that in a future one of these things against like the moth i mean there's going to be an answer that is still developing and it's going to get to a point where toho they can't stop what's already happened, right? It's gonna go too far and there will be no coming back from this, but they're still going ahead, man. They're just seeing the, the possibilities that what if we just allow it a little bit more and I think they're gonna regret this sooner or later. All right, guys, for now, that is gonna be everything. This was the man in the suit, the series. Very, very interesting how it's all going down and uh, I'm captivated by where this is gonna go next and what more is gonna develop. It's, it's very interesting. The wording throughout the series definitely gets a bit confusing at some points, like the strange terms used and, you know, I'm like, what? Well, okay, what is actually happening? here but you can see the underlying story about these sort of suits uh you know they were found uh and you know they have a lot of bad past radiation from when nukes were dropped in that area and the actors are like people within them and it's like the the sort of the radiation is manipulating these bodies changing them into these suits and we can see them now still being used so they've probably still got more suits that they're going to use in future parts as well unknowingly to any actors or people who get inside of them Oof. all right though guys that's going to do it for this one this was a reaction to the man in the suit so far 10 videos worth a lot of information in this. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. This definitely goes back to the old school style of analog horrors, which is more about just kind of text on screen, a bit of imagery. It just kind of lets you develop the rest of the uh, the pictures in your mind on what's going down. It's a slow burner series, but that's kind of what these things are. They're not supposed to be just fast paced all the time. The series was made by Unknowingly Guys. I definitely recommend subscribing if you want to stay up to date with this series. He's working on another one here, a Ghostbusters analog horror, which is very interesting. He's kind of using movies for his inspiration, which is cool. Anyway though guys, that's going to do it for this one here. This was a pretty lengthy video, but I really did enjoy reacting to this one and hopefully you guys did too. If you did, why not drop me that like crane and hey, if you're new around here, want to subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, you know, I think I'm going to refrain from ever using a suit in any of my YouTube videos ever again.